It's about five, almost six o'clock in the morning. The sky is burning red. I don't think the camera's showing it, but the sky is burning red. But honestly, you've got to know that this ain't living. We could run. Oh, well. a little bit of rain today. We're under a much bigger umbrella. Keep the rain off and the wind this time. A little bit worse than last time. So I wanted to update on what was happening with the EPA regulating neonicotinoids. You've got now these are a form of pesticides that we've talked about in the past, where the EPA came out with three proposals to stop using these neonicotinoids, which are extremely harmful to bees. Now, we talked about this last time about how they were going to make a proposal to ban or stop the use of these these pesticides, these three pesticides. However, since Trump is coming in, the EPA has decided not to bother with it, to make it just a suggestion to farmers to not to use these three neonicotinoids. And that's probably the wrong way of saying it, but. Now the, the big question is, will the farmers obey what the, what the EPA has said, or will they just ignore it? and to hell with the uh, honeybees. And you know what happens if the honeybees disappear. That means all the pollinators are dying out and that we are going to be in a lot of trouble as far as food production goes. But I guess the short-term money gain outweighs the long-term death of all of humanity and, and life through poisonous chemicals like neonicotinoids. And let it burn, let it burn You've got to know that nothing lasts forever So when the wind is getting really bad in the rain, I get a bigger umbrella than the little gust buster I had on my last rain walk. This one here is a life tech. This umbrella is high quality, no doubt. Gets the highest ratings as far as umbrellas go, and I'd recommend it to anybody without a doubt. I'm not, rec I'm not uh, doing a spot for this umbrella, but I'm definitely impressed with it. It's really nice, and it really holds out the rain. So you and I can now go walking a little bit, no matter what the weather, huh? This walk has just begun. I can hear as we climb the hills, the higher we get, the harder the wind is blowing. Though at this time, nothing down here. So there's another way you can find out whether global climate change is real or not, as look at the numbers. I'm talking about money numbers, insurance numbers. The Global Climate Catastrophe Report comes out every year. Uh, I happen to have looked it over pretty well, and I think you'll be surprised at what the numbers are doing. There's no doubt that things are changing for the worst. Let's go over the board and I'll show you what I mean. So here are the weather disaster losses, and here are the dates. Now you noticed that everything's pretty flat from 1997 on back. It does go up and down year to year. It's not a real accurate graph. It's very jumpy up and down. But you notice from 2001 on, it keeps getting higher and higher and higher. These are billions, 8 billion, 16, 21, 24, 36, 41, 29, and 30. There is a little fall off in 2015, but then it's coming right back in 2016. We'll have to see what 2017 looks like. So for those people that just pay attention to business, I think you better pay attention to business and something else and decide what you're going to do to influence the people in charge to make better decisions. Today's Wednesday, Friday is the day. It's getting closer, isn't it? What are you guys going to do? So, until next time.
to tell me now What's left to lose if we run